welcome back to my channel. It's Catherine again. Last week, I've done a deep cleaning of our fridge from inside out. And this week is how vacuum machines turn to get a deep cleaning. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the entire process of how I disassembled our Dyson Cyclone V10 vacuum machine, as well as the cleaning process in detail. But first thing first, because we're cleaning an irregular shaped vacuum machine, which unfortunately has a lot of awkward corners. So in today's cleaning, we're gonna use a lot of tools including some regular and unconventional cleaning tools. So let's go over them first. Like all other cleaning, please prepare a solution spray, some cleansing wipes, and a microfiber cloth. Besides, you'll need some coins or a suitable screwdriver to open the heads up. In addition, in this particular cleaning, you'll also need a tweezer and lots of cotton buds if you want to get it done like a pro. Last but not the least, if you have a spare vacuum machine, get it ready because you'll find it handy. I haven't cleaned this Dyson since we bought it, which was a year ago. All parts have become dirty. The main body of the machine, including the cyclone and the vein, the soft roller head, and the direct driver head. It's better to clean this before things are clogged up, which will significantly impact the performance of your Dyson. First of all, I'm emptying the bin before taking it apart to avoid unnecessary dust dropping on the floor. Then you'll need this 50p coin to open the soft roller head. Be very gentle if this is the first time you disassemble a Dyson. After you've opened up the side, the rest is very straightforward. For the cleaning, let's start with the easy bit, the two rollers. First, rinse them under cold running water. Second, squeeze out the excess water and then you want to leave them in a corner to air dry for at least 24 hours. Then I'm going to clean the rest of the head where all the dust gets built up. Hair is one of the main reasons that reduce the efficiency of a vacuum machine. We don't have a lot of hair in here, so I'm just pulling them off with my hand and a tweezer. If you have a lot of hair, cut it with a scissor before removing them from your machine. You'll find it easier. For the dust in the middle, I'm using this tweezer to pull off as much as I can. Because this dust has been stuck there for a while, it's becoming stubborn. So that's why I need the help from cotton buds. These buds have very small head, which allow them to go into narrow spaces such as these gaps and take the dust out from there. After using the cotton buds, shake the head, some dust would already come out. For the rest, I'm using a tweezer again to take it out. Unfortunately, a lot of dust dropped on the floor. That's why a spare vacuum machine can be helpful in this case. To do a deeper cleaning of the interior, I'm spraying the solution over a microfiber cloth and using the damp cloth to try to clean as much as I can. Again, I'm reaching those narrow areas using the cotton buds with some solution spray. Lastly, finish off with some cleansing wipes. 
both interior and exterior. Ta-da! Now leave it to dry. Even though I didn't wash the head with water, which you can't, but it's always good to make sure the solution is completely dried out before starting using the vacuum machine again. Same principle can be applied to the direct driver head as well. However, unlike the soft roller head, the gaps in this one are way bigger, which makes it easier for us to clean. For the main body of the vacuum machine, to take it apart, open it up just as we always do when emptying the bin. Then you will see a red arrow here. Press it while drag the bin out. Now you have the cyclone and the bin separated. Let's clean the bin first. I'm using the microfiber cloth again with solution to give it rough wipe of the interior. Then you can use a cotton bud like I did to clean the corners of the rubber. But I'm not too fussed about here to be honest because it doesn't have much to do with the performance of the vacuum machine. Don't forget the lid, it is also very dirty so let's get that cleaned as well. For the cyclone, I'm using the cloth to clean the surface and using the cotton buds to finish the details. Ta-da! Let's now leave everything to air dry. Everything now is completely dry. Look how clean they are. Now it is the time to assemble everything and get ready for the floor cleaning. This is my first time to clean this Dyson, so let's see if I've damaged anything in the vacuum machine or not. Great, it still works, but with better suction. If you have a Dyson, make sure you take care of it by cleaning it periodically for the longevity of the machine. Okay, that's all the cleaning about today. I hope you find my video helpful in cleaning your own Dyson Cyclone V10 vacuum machine. And if you do find it helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. In my channel, I talk about motherhood, house renovation, and home organization, just like every other mom or housewife do on a regular basis. If you don't want to miss any of my future uploads, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified for my future uploads. Okay, I upload video every Friday at 7pm, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye!